Are you looking for more info on how to replace the ultraviolet disinfection lamp in your X-Lite ultraviolet disinfection system? I'm going to show you right now in 10 easy steps. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own Water E-Store and the Water Store in Midland. Um, if this is your first time to my YouTube channel, welcome. If you click the subscribe button bottom right hand corner of your screen, you can subscribe to the channel. Lots of, we have hundreds of YouTube videos um, available on water treatment. Great information to help you maintain these systems for your family. I'd also like to mention, be sure you watch this video right to the end because I'll, I'll include a link to my um, ultraviolet disinfection system playlist. Again, lots of videos that will help you with these systems. I'd also like to mention that uh, Purifiner, Water Depot and Exolite are all exactly the same product. So replacement UV lamp sleeve is exactly the same and the procedure is exactly the same. If you're not sure about how these systems work, I've got a great video up here. Uh, click on it, it'll take you right to my video on how an ultraviolet disinfection system works to disinfect the water for your family. So before you get started, you want to make sure that you've got all the supplies you need. So you're going to need a replacement UV lamp. You're going to want to have a spare sleeve just in case something goes wrong and the sleeve cracks or gets broken during this procedure. And you want to replace the filter at the same time. We, uh, if you click this link up here, we offer discount pricing and free shipping. You can order your, those, all those items from our e-commerce store or from our store in Midland. Okay, great. So then the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to un unplug the power. So you can just disconnect it here from the Exolite uh, ballast. Um, the next step, you're going to want to shut off the water. So um, you'll have a shut off somewhere before the uh, pre-filter. So you can turn that off. And then um, you're going to want to open a faucet somewhere in the house to release all the pressure. Once you've done that, then you can close the outlet from the UV lamp. This one goes back this way to close it. And then what you're going to want to do is, uh, if there's a button on top of the, the filter housing, you're going to push that to release all the pressure in there. So you can replace the filter at this time. I've got a great YouTube video up here that shows you how to do that uh, process. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to take the UV lamp out. So there's a small um, sc screw or nut on the side here, so you can just loosen that up and lift that up. And when you do, you'll see that the lamp is attached up here. And uh, now the lamp is probably going to be quite warm, so you may want to let it cool for a few minutes before proceeding. So once you've done that, you just grab the lamp by the ceramic end, wiggle the top a little bit, and this will pop straight off. You don't have to turn it, it just pops straight off. Then what you can do is you can pull out the lamp, set it aside, and, uh, and then there's two um, knurled uh, nuts on either end of the, the, the housing itself. So you just unscrew that. Top and bottom. And you can grab the sleeve at the top. I usually put my finger inside to grab the sleeve. All right, and this is the trickiest part of the whole process. You have to break the, the sleeve loose from the O-rings that are there. So sometimes if you just slide it up and down, you can break that loose. And once you do, you just pull off the O-ring. Now the quartz sleeve can get out, go out either through the top or through the bottom. It really doesn't matter if you pull off the O-rings, you can do that. So then you pull out the quartz sleeve. And as you can see, there's a spring inside there. The reason for the spring is if when you're replacing the UV lamp or taking it out, it, you lose, it, it falls out of your hand or whatever, it would hit the spring and it would cushion the fall. Because if it didn't have the spring in the bottom here, the, the UV lamp would actually go right through the bottom and uh, you'd have to replace the quartz sleeve. So if you take the quartz sleeve out and it's perfectly clean like this one here is, this is a brand new one, um, then you're good to go, you can continue on. But if, if not, and most cases it's not, you need to clean this. So you can use a, an acid type product like CLR or vinegar, something like that, to clean up this sleeve. And once you've cleaned it, make sure you don't handle it uh, with your fingers except at the ends. And uh, if you can't get the sleeve clean, then you have to replace it. Or if the sleeve were to crack at this stage or you drop it or something like that, it definitely needs to be replaced, which is why I always recommend having a spare on hand. All right, then what you're going to do next is you're going to slide this in back together. Now, and then so an O-ring goes on the bottom. And another one goes on the top. And you're going to want to make sure that the, um, the sleeve protrudes equal distance out of the top and out of the bottom. All right, once you get that in place, put this other ring on the top. 
And with these O-rings with the Exolite systems, I don't recommend you um, lubricating the O-rings with uh, silicone, uh, plumber silicone grease or something like that because they tend to, to slide around and, uh, and you don't want to have that happen. And then the, the closed knurled nut, the one that has the closed end, goes on the bottom. And uh, the knurled nuts just get our hand tight. So once you got the bottom one on, just make sure the O-ring is centered. Put the top one on. Tighten it up. So again, then you can tighten both at the same time, bottom and top. Make sure they're tight, but don't over tighten them. Don't use a wrench or anything like that. And then you grab the new UV lamp. And uh, so it will fit in one of two ways. Either one way or turn it um, 180 degrees, it'll also fit. If it doesn't fit, then just turn it 90 degrees and the holes are out of alignment um, or the pins are out of alignment with the holes. And then we square that up. Line the two up. Like so. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Push it down. Tighten up the nut on the side. Okay, great. So now you, what you're going to want to do is reset the controller. So to reset the controller, you push this button and you hold it down. While you're holding it down, you apply the power back to it. With this one, um, so what you'll do is you'll see the word um, reset show on here on the display. And then you hear one long beep, three short beeps. After that, I always count to five. Once you've counted to five, you let go. With uh, the older style Exolite controllers that doesn't have the LED readout here, you just hold the button down again, one long beep, three short ones, and it's reset. So once it's reset, then uh, you've already replaced the, um, the filter in here. So what you do is you slowly open up the water inlet coming in here to slowly fill up the system. And uh, once you've filled it up, then you check for leaks. If there's no leaks, then you can open up the outlet and fully open up the inlet. And then I go somewhere where there's a good flow, like a bathtub or a laundry sink or something like that. Let the water run and uh, it's gonna be air, um, air, air bursts uh, coming through. So let it run until you don't have any more air going through, just a, a straight flow. And that will also um, filter out any uh, fines that are coming from the filter. Once you finish that, you're done. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, also really appreciate it if you could share this video with your Facebook friends. If you'd like some more information, go to our website, either thewatereastore.com or thewaterestoremidland.com. And if you click the link up here, take you right to my UV disinfection system playlist. Lots of information on there to help you maintain these systems for your family. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from Water East Store and the Water Store Midland. Thanks for watching.